Hi, my name is Kevin Fernandez and welcome to my channel, Gamers Genie. Today we're going to do an unboxing video on the game Haunt the House. This two to five player game designed by um, Josh and uh, Helena Kappel. Uh, looks, looks really good. The cover really tells you that it's going to be kind of a spooky themed game. But the way the artwork's done, it still looks like it's very uh, family friendly. Um, hence the eight and up, ages eight and up. It's about a 30 minute game to play. But, you know, let's start, you know, enough talking about the cover. Let's crack this nut open and see what's inside. Okay, so like I said, we have our game. It's all set up here. Uh, we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over to the back. Um, you can see that some of the spirits look very goofy, kind of funny. You can definitely tell that this is for uh, families. It's not exactly for um, adults. But, you know, honestly, age is just, um, I mean, it really depends on the, what the gamer likes, in my opinion. So we're going to take our X-Acto knife. We're going to make a small incision across the bottom and along the side of the um, of the game. There we go. <laughs> and I'm gonna remove the plastic. We're gonna flip this over. And I'm gonna lift up the box. See, oh, no fart. We didn't get a box fart. Oh, looks like we have all sorts of little bags to put in uh, tokens and stuff uh, when that comes along. We have our cards. So we're going to take these out. And I think I'm going to... Yep. There they are. I'm going to find the tokens. Looks like some of the tokens have already been punched out. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by punching out these tokens. Um... Got these little skeleton tokens. I'm sure that means something. I mean, obviously it does. Um, they look really good. They have like a nice little rough feel to them, but at the, the other side, they're very smooth, um, which is very unique for tokens because uh, I've never felt tokens like that. That's a little odd for me, but I think it it's, it's a little odd for me, but it gives the game a nice, unique, literally, feel to it. Uh, so it literally gives it a nice, unique feel to the game. Um, no pun intended, but I'm bum. Um, so we're gonna add, so we're gonna punch out all these little skulls, um, and of course, I, I'm pretty sure there's always a significance to the tokens, um, especially if they come in this huge supply. And we're going to flip over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. And there's like a, a flashlight, a candlestick, a lantern, and a torch. Uh, I do know in... I need to ask one of my friends, what do you call a torch? If a tor if in, in uh, British English, a torch is a flashlight. So we got a map, a grappling hook and a rope, a key, and a crowbar. Uh, why would we need a crowbar? I don't know. It's always cool to find out. So next, I'm going to grab one of these uh, decks. I'm going to bring back our handy dandy X-Acto knife. And I'm going to cut across the side here. I'm going to peel away at the plastic. And I'm going to take a look at the cards here. There's one of the cards. The artwork, like I said, looks really good. Um, this is probably like a goal that you need to fulfill in order to get rid of the card or for whatever. Or maybe it's items that the character uh, holds. Um, for games like these, usually characters start off with a certain number of items. Adorable. 
It's an adorable ghost. Aww. Charming, freezing, lurking, huge, howling, sleeping? Yeah, sleeping. Silent. Oh, there's the guy on the back of the box. Shapeless. Staring. Um, sneaky. Slimy. Vanishing. Oh, there we go. I was going to say washing. And mimic. Mimic. Okay, we're going to open up another one. I'm going to grab the exacto knife. I don't know why I was trying to be... Uh, brave and kind of gutsy is like this is an unboxing video we want to make this go as smoothly as possible and so as I said there are some items uh, there's this book some ice the door and you know I'm pretty sure that has some significance but as we have not played as me nor Jordan has played this game we wanted to demo this game at uh, Gen Con, but we couldn't find it. We did struggle a lot, and that's kind of one of the things we need to, hopefully we'll fix when we go to Gen Con this year, is uh, we will be able to find a lot of the companies that we want to demo their games. Um, then we got like little markers uh, designed after little ghosts. I will definitely call dibs on the purple one. Hopefully Jordan can hear me. I know she's just down the hallway. Uh, with that, and what we're going to do is we're going to open up this big bag. We're going to take out. These all look really good. I don't know if you connect them together to be a board or if this is like your own personal board. But then there's the back. They all On the back, they all look the same. Okay. So what I'm going to do is usually I put the haunt the house rules on the bottom. I might put them, usually I put the rules on the top, but I might put them on the bottoms. But I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get everything in. I'm gonna open up this bag of bags. Okay, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just fill it in with everything. So this bag will be our little skulls. Oh, we'll put these right there gonna pack these up um, seems like a lot of bags for a lot of stuff you a lot some of the stuff that you don't need so we're gonna add that in there okay so we got one two three okay so you have three bags so what I'm gonna do since there's only three bags is I'm gonna take these skeleton markers and I'm going to put them in this bag as well because I don't want any uh, issues with that. So then we're going to take, then the next thing is we're going to do is we're going to take these little red and blue mysterious tokens. We're going to add them in here. Um, one of the things I'm going to have to say I don't like is usually in a lot of modern games we usually have little air holes on the top where you don't need to like make sure you punch out all the the stuff the air in the you don't need to punch out all the air in the the game um, but unfortunately this one you do um, I really wish you just didn't have to um, that's just something I like about modern games is that nowadays we don't need to punch out all the air uh, well, we don't need to have like this little lip up at the top. I don't need to give it any lip. Um, gonna add this final deck of cards to to there. This looks uh, very interesting, and I'm really excited excited to look at this. But you know, of course, we have to save something um, for the closing. So we're gonna add. And we're going to take a look at the rule book before we add it in there. So this is the rule book. Uh, we got the ghost markers, the skull tokens uh, that we talked about. Um, scare cards is what they're called. And then we got phantom cards. Maybe maybe I should try reading the rule book. So we're going to, this is the setup. 
the gameplay. It looks fairly simple, but then again, you know, it is the starting age is for eight year olds. Okay, and then uh, this is all the scoring and everything. We're going to add that back in there. We're going to put the lid back on. And there we go. Well, there you go. There's Haunt the House. Uh, one of the things that I noticed while looking through this uh, unboxing, while doing this unboxing video, is it looks like you take on the role of the ghost instead of most games, you're just like this investigator or you're the stupid person who wanted to go into the haunted house um, and the, the ghosts or the monsters are usually uh, attacking you. But it looks like you are the ghost and you got, you're attacking the and the the game is just the dummies that uh decide to go into your haunted house um i'm looking forward to playing this game uh right now uh we just ended a poll on um on uh which game should i write a script for uh the one that won is the game stuffed fables so i will be working on a script for stuffed fables as well as i have I have recently accepted a job uh, making a Kickstarter um, video, a how to play for a Kickstarter game called um, Retro Gaming Card, the card game. Um, it's, it seems really fun. It seems really interesting. So I will probably get, uh, of course, eventually there will be a script for Haunt the House because this game looks really fun. It looks really interesting and it looks like something I'd love to feature on my channel. Maybe I'm really, what I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to get some videos out for holidays and I have a lot of spooky games. I have a lot of creepy games and I'd love to get this game out around Halloween. So that way you guys can have this really cool, spooky, creepy game that you can try to get. And this looks like a very uh, family friendly spooky game. So you don't have to worry about your kids having nightmares uh, when you're done for the night. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks really good. It looks really interesting. Uh, I will probably do some play testing about this game and to learn it, to figure out how to how the mechanics work so that way I can get really good at that. Uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to be doing that more this year. I, I, I've been neglecting it a little bit and I'm going to try to get back into that. But, you know, be on the lookout for our upcoming gameplay video on the game The Oregon Trail. But until then, thanks for the views. Thank you.